is Kendra Jones and I work in the Youth Services Department of the Kingsport Public Library. Well today I want to welcome you to Scary Sweets. And the sweets we're going to be making today are eyeballs. But we don't have to bake anything. That is the beautiful part of this. All you're going to need is Oreos. You don't have to use Oreos but you're going to need something that has that white filling inside it. We're going to need frosting. You can use any color you want, but I have some leftover orange, so I'm going to use it. You're going to need a small tube of red gel, and it's much easier to buy it like this because you can get the fine details. And you're going to need your favorite candy. I'm going to use M&M's so I can eat the leftovers. And of course, you're going to, I'm going to use the pastry bag, but you can just use a Ziploc bag or just plop the icing on there, and I'll show you what I mean. Let's get started. All right, here is the fun part. We're going to take an Oreo and gently twist the top off. Ah, perfect. And I'm going to do two eyeballs because you can't have just one eyeball hanging out there, can you? So I'm going to do that again. All right, here is my two eyeballs. Now I'm going to use a pastry bag to squirt out my icing. But you can have fun with it and do whatever you want. You can just take a spoon and just squeeze a little bit on there. You can take a Ziploc bag, actually works great. Cut the corner, put the icing down, and you don't even have to mess up cleaning up this bag. We just need a very small amount of frosting. So, we are going to make a circle about big enough to, for your candy to go on. So, we're just going to squeeze it out. And I think I need some more. Whoop, there we go. Just a small amount. About like that. And we're going to get our other eyeball to match, so let's do that one. Just a little bit. And if you want to make it bigger, you can. I'm going to go back and make that one just a little bit bigger. All right, that's done already. Now, we will make our eyes go like that. I'm going to put a green eyeball in here, right in the middle. And then if you see that it takes up all your icing, you just go back and add a little more. So I want you to be able to see that this is our eyeball. Now to make them look the most like eyeballs, which is my favorite part, we're taking our red gel and we're going to make little veins come off of it. So there's one there, there's one there. He's a pretty red eyeball, isn't he? I don't think he got any sleep the night before. Now my gel is a little runny, but it's okay. Well, they look pretty bloody for Halloween. And just in about three simple steps, you have made your own bloody eyeballs. I will let you enjoy. 